Action. Oh, I know. I don't have my name tag on. I forgot. I know. Exactly. Well, happy hump day, everybody. That's how you know who I am. It's Wednesday, so it's Jake from State Farm Day. It is. I don't need a name tag anymore, do I? Yes, you do. <laughs> well, welcome. Welcome back. Um, we're thrilled to have everybody um, today. I, I'm excited because uh, we're going to be doing um, bobbin work on both uh, the sewing side and the embroidery side. So I think you guys are hopefully going to like this. Um, I know I got all excited about it. The girls are sort of looking at me like, we're nervous. They normally do. We're nervous. Yeah, that's right. Exactly. I think <laughs> you're right. We're nervous for you. <laughs> we'll see. So, um, announcements? Do we have some announcements? I don't think so. No? We got a winner. I know we did. We do, yeah. Yeah. Sarah McKinney. Yes, so we'll Sarah. We'll send this down to the Littleton store. That's correct. And this is one of those little um, jewelry um, pull-up things that you um, can basically... <laughs> That's Eventually. easier said yeah. than done. <laughs> well, it does. You make that look so easy. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we will send this down to the Littleton store for you, but it's really cute. It's got little pockets in it and super cute. Very cool. Super cute. That's right. Um, so I've got some jokes. They're as good as yesterday. You guys will be so happy to hear that. Um, so ready? Uh-huh. I'm ready. All right. My wife accused me of being too uh, too immature. I told her that there's no girls allowed in my fort. <laughs> All right. So wait, wait, wait. I got more. There's more where that came from. Why does a chicken coop only have two doors? Because if it had four doors, it'd be a chicken sedan. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, uh, so, you guys ready to get started? Oh yeah, let's <laughs> With that? Yes. <laughs> All right. So, today Are you filming or is Christine filming or I don't care. You can't film. You're going to film yourself? Yeah, no. <laughs> I'm not. But today we are going to do bobbin work. So I don't know if any of you have ever done that or um, experienced it, but it's actually kind of a very cool technique. It's kind of fun because you can actually play with decorative threads that you normally wouldn't be able to put through your sewing machine. So um, it's um, just kind of a specialty technique. You do need a couple of really specific things for it. And it's going to give me a good opportunity to talk about bobbin cases too, because one of the things is we need a specialty bobbin case in order to do bobbin work. Um, so, Kay, why don't we come over here and we can talk about that a little bit. Um, your machines, if you have a baby locker brother, would have most likely come with three different bobbin cases, okay? So one of the bobbin cases is actually a gray color and you can see it actually doesn't have any felt on it okay so because the bobbin work oh I'll I'll move the camera you keep still okay, okay? <laughs> how about that <laughs> that sounds good <laughs> so the bobbin work case is gray in color it's a really light gray okay this is a very specialty bobbin case so it's only used for this type of work that we're about to do okay it would have come with the Elisimo, it would have come with the Destiny, and the Altair. So I know those three machines, and then the baby uh, brother equivalents of those, I think, had it also, okay? You also have a special menu in those machines that actually have bobbin work designs that you can actually use the technique we're doing with those designs, okay? Uh, you notice I didn't say the Solaris. They actually um, took this bobbin case out of the Solaris, which um, I, I was, um, again, it, it's an extra purchase, but we can get those for the Solaris owners if you like to do this type of work. They changed the bobbin work menu into a couching menu. So we are gonna show the couching feature um, uh, another day, um, but uh, right now we're just gonna focus on the bobbin work end of this. Um, now I'm gonna show you how you can change those designs in the Solaris into bobbin work designs instead of couching designs, okay? So that's another thing that we're gonna do today. So again, this is bobbin case number one that we wanna focus on, and that's our 
bobbin work bobbin case, okay? Now the other two bobbin cases are ones you're gonna use a lot more, okay? One of them actually has this little green dot of paint on it, and this is your normal, everyday, regular sewing bobbin case, okay? It's got regular tensions, it's gonna look good on when you're doing your regular straight stitch to your decorative stitches to all types of different things okay so this is the one that came in your machine again you can see it has that felt piece on it and so it will allow you to um, to do your regular sewing okay now it will also work in embroidery okay but there are certain times when you're during doing designs and um, that um, sometimes your bobbin thread will poke up onto your design okay so it'll actually uh, you'll see a little bit of your bobbin thread um, and you don't want that in embroidery okay so they've actually come out with a third bobbin case which is it has this little purple dot of paint on the uh, on the silver piece here this is your embroidery bobbin case okay so I these bobbin cases cause a lot of confusion because uh, people don't know what bobbin cases to put in and when to put them in. Um, and again, I just want to give you a little bit of advice with these bobbin cases today since we're talking about them. Um, I'm a firm believer in life, in uh, sewing, whatever. I've got a, a little saying that I like to say a lot. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Okay. So if you have the regular sewing bobbin case in and you're sewing and you're embroidering and your machine looks great um, there is absolutely no reason to switch to the purple dotted bobbin case okay however if you um, are sewing and you go into embroidery and all of a sudden you see little flecks of your bobbin thread pulling up to the top of your fabric this bobbin case is specifically designed to take care of that problem so it's just a matter of switching out the bobbin cases to fix those issues Okay, so that is why they gave you the, the extra bobbin case there. Again, it has the purple dot on it, and it's going to make your life a little bit easier when it comes to adjust or to um, um, when it comes to fixing those embroidery problems that might present themselves. Okay, so I hope everybody's good with that and understands that sort of uh, explanation of why you got three bobbin cases there. Okay. Okay. Are we good? Mm -hmm. No, no questions. Um, pri pricing question on the bobbin case for the Solaris. What did we decide? It's. Well, I I can't remember what you told me. Okay. You told me. So <laughs> this bobbin case actually comes in a little set, in a little kit. Okay. We actually just called Baby Luck on this because they've kind of rebranded this. So the bobbin case comes with a um oh, yeah, with a cd that has 20 embroidery bobbin designs on it along with a new cover and a little tiny screwdriver a new bobbin cover with a screwdriver and it is 59.99 perfect okay so okay. that if for you solaris owners if you want those again you're going to get the bobbin work designs you're gonna get that new and this is another important thing that Kate just mentioned um, the bobbin cover that you want to use for this for you destiny owners or again the the brother equivalent you have a, a couple of different bobbin covers that actually come with your machine okay and one of those covers actually have these little notches I don't know can you see those Kate? yeah they can see them okay so you've got these little notches on the underside of the cover and the job of those notches is to actually hold that bobbin in place when we're doing the bobbin work. So you're gonna need to use the cover that has these little notches on it, okay? Okay. So make sure that you, you're aware of that when you put set this all up, okay? And again, all you're gonna do is take off, again, for those of you with the older style machines, you just pop the little gray cover off and you're gonna take your regular bobbin case out and you're gonna put the gray bobbin case in. For you Solaris and Luminaire owners, of course, it's really, really simple. You just push on our little gray button over here and it'll remove that for you. 
Okay, so if anybody has the Illuminaire, I just saw a question on that. You would need to purchase the Bobbin Work Bobbin Case Kit. Okay. Yes. Okay. So it comes as that kit for fifty nine ninety nine. All right. So um, again, what we're doing with Bobbin Work? Let me just show you my samples here. Should I do embroidery first or sewing? Might as well do embroidery. I'm set up for you it. You can use pre wound bobbins in either of the two bobbin cases, the green or the purple one. Um, you would not want to put a pre wound bobbin in the Bobbin Works one. That one has been designed with basically no tension on it, which is what Patrick's going to cover here in a minute, so that you can wind your heavy threads on it. Okay, so this is an example of bobbin work. Okay. What we, do, what we have is we have a really, really super thick serger thread in there. It's called Glamour and it's an eight weight thread. So again, there's no way that you can sew on your sewing machine with a thread like this unless you put it in your bobbin and do bobbin work with it, okay? So, and Kate said exactly that. Um, what they've done with this bobbin case is they've eliminated all the tension out of that bobbin case. So there is no tension with it. So again, if you leave this bobbin case in for regular sewing, I guarantee you it's going to be broke. Okay, it, it, there's no way your machine is going to sew correctly if you have this bobbin case for regular sewing. It's designed specifically for a thread like this that's really thick, a decorative stitch type thread. The other one that we're, um, we were playing with is, again, this is actually called, I don't know if it's Razzle or Dazzle, I think it's Razzle. But anyway, we, we carry another one, it's an eight weight. This one is a, um, a variegated thread that I was using on um, a little bit early and I'll show you some of the samples with it. But again, you can see it's really, really thick. It won't go through a needle. It'll only go through the bobbin case like this. Okay. Um, so we have another question, if you would like to confirm this, Patrick. If somebody has an Alissimo or a Destiny, maybe, and they have the bobbin work case from that machine, that will work in the Solaris if they also own a Solaris. That is correct, yes. Okay. Yeah, so it is the same bobbin case for either machine, okay? So, so again, here's an example of sewing with bobbin work. And again, you can see I've used some decorative stitches. Um, uh, a, you're going to have to play with those just to sort of see which ones look better. I love, love, love this little, um, what do you they call that? It's like a bow, but bow. you should have sewn that out with regular thread so that oh, they can really see the comparison. Oh, that's a good point to see the difference. Mm -hmm. I should have. Yeah, maybe I will. So, yep, that's a good idea. So, um, so again, just an example of what the bobbin work is going to look like. Um, and then again, we've done it with embroidery on this end. And this is with that variegated thread. I, this is your sample. Yeah. <laughs> Ladies, I'm going to apologize ahead of time for Patrick's sample. What? I, I was just playing. So. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm trying not to shake the phone. <laughs> oh, my gosh. She, she's mad at me, ladies. <laughs> But it's going to look a lot prettier when the real one's done. Okay, so. I hope so. <laughs> looks like something my granddaughter just brought home from kindergarten. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyway. Oh, my. <laughs> so. I thought this was your practice for earlier. It, it, well, it was just. Yeah, I learned though. So this is good. Okay. So again, this is using... Everybody's really laughing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure if they're laughing with you or at you, but one of the two. So this was using the variegated thread, that eight weight variegated thread. And again, sewing to the bottom side. So you actually have the bottom of the fabric down and you're sewing with the bobbin on the right side of the fabric. Okay. So you're actually looking at the wrong side of the fabric when we're stitching. Correct, exactly. Okay, and I'm going to show you how I did They're this. They're trying to figure out how many birds are in your picture. <laughs> <laughs> well, you guys will see it. It'll be clear in just a second, I promise. So so anyway, the, this is an example of what bobbin work, especially the top one, that, that looks better because I did something different on that one. Molly, we're going to talk a little bit about that. So you cannot, um, we're going to talk about what designs are good and what designs are not good. Correct. So there's definitely going to be some designs that you cannot use. Yep. Um, so the biggest obstacle in bobbin work, honestly, is winding the bobbin. It, it is a pain. It's hard because you've got this really, really thick thread your machine is not designed 
to actually wind thick thread like this okay so you have to granted I'm gonna teach you guys something today again this will be worth the cost of admission what someone says you might need to redo kindergarten <laughs> 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 Again, stay out of my fort. <laughs> <laughs> so. Someone says they can see a cow and a skull. I don't know what you're drinking here, Linda, but I don't quite see a cow and a skull. All right, so let's talk about winding the bobbin. Okay. okay? So when we wind our bobbin, um, again, you can wind from any spool pin that you want. Um, whether it's from here or from the two thread spool stand that came with your machine, okay? Okay. Um, so we're gonna actually wind, and when you wind, what happens is the thread is gonna have a tendency to pull out of our bobbin winder, okay? Mm -hmm. So, cause it's just too thick for it to hold it in place up there. So we're gonna need, and again, I would recommend this on Baby Lock and Brother to always, always, always do a double wrap. Okay, it's going to wind a absolutely perfect bobbin for you every time. It's not in your instruction manuals. It's um, it's my own piece of advice for you. But again, if you wrap twice around this bobbin winding pin on Baby Lock and Brother machines, you're going to wind a perfect bobbin every time, including for your um, including for your uh, bobbin work here. Uh oh. Hold, please, ladies. I forgot my bobbin. Where is it? I had one, Kate. Don't be looking at me. Will you grab me? Your... Oh, yay, thank you. I put it on my desk. So we got a clean bobbin here. And again, By what I... By clean, he means empty, ladies. <laughs> That's right. So, um, and what I've done is I've actually wrapped twice around our bobbin winder on the top here. Uh -huh. Okay. Um, again, all I'm going to do is put my thread... This thread is so thick. <laughs> I don't believe you just did that. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> there. Now, so I've got the thread through a hole in the top. And again, the other thing that I'm going to do. <laughs> Stop laughing at me. So, the other thing I'm going to do, I'm going to pop my bobbin winder over, and you're going to notice. Can you show them the screen here real yeah. quick? Are I'm they, sorry. Are I, they got laughing? I got tears rolling down my face. <laughs> so we we're going to slow it down to the slowest speed on our bobbin winder. Okay, so you're going to actually want to control the speed on this because you want it to wind really, really slow. Or even with a double wrap, it's still going to pop out of that. So just to answer a quick question, um, are you saying that you are recommending um, that they double wrap all threads? Yes. Yep, there all, you go, Terry. All, all threads, Terry, yes. So I, again, it's, it works, honestly, you'll never have a problem with it un winding uneven. You'll never have a problem with it winding underneath your, your um, bobbin Okay, um, so the other, the other question that we have here is you went from here and you went around this way. Correct. And then went all Complete, the way around. Exactly. Okay. So double wrap around there. But the instructions tell you to go from here and go around this way. And if you do that with a double wrap, it's going to catch on itself. So, um, again, it's... Okay. So when you're doing a double wrap, you're going to go counterclockwise. Correct. Okay. Exactly. Yep. And so I am going to touch my OK button or my start button down here. I'm going to wind just a little bit. And then I'm going to cut off my excess threads here. And then I'm going to finish that winding process. And again, it's winding it really, really slow. And you can see it does a really, really good job of so Patrick, did you only use the hole in that bobbin because of how heavy this thread Correct. is? You, you wouldn't normally do that with regular with thread. With regular thread, I would wrap it several times around the bobbin and, and then I'd use come the across cutter. our blade to use the cutter. Exactly. Okay, great questions today. I think they're all paying attention and to that's you. That's good. <laughs> so, um, 
So again, uh, the, the blades on this, the, the thread's gonna have a tough time cutting on those blades. So you have to be careful of that. Um, you could honestly do that, but the thread is so thick that it's hard to get it to grab, uh, grip on the inside of that bobbin also. That's why I put it through the hole instead of doing it like I would normally do and cutting the thread. Okay. okay. So, so now we've got our, again, our Glamour thread inside of our bobbin case, okay? And you're just gonna put it in like you would a normal bobbin. Just pop it inside there, you're gonna come around, it will cut on this little mechanism here, and life is good, okay? Okay. So saying that, now we're gonna talk about designs, okay, because we're gonna do embroidery first. So on your designs, for you, those of you who have the Destiny, or the um, Elisimo, or again, the brother equivalents. You have a menu up here that's listed as menu number, going off of memory and I didn't look at this. That's tough. It, yeah, that's really tough actually. I think it's men, menu number uh, five. So, but it's gonna have a little B next to it. And for those of you, if you're sitting in front of your machines, if you could tell me if I'm right or wrong, but again, it's menu number five, there's gonna be a little B down in the corner and it's gonna have a design on it. Again, on the Solaris, they've taken that B, the bobbin work menu out and they've replaced it with the couching menu, okay? But when I touch the couching menu, you're gonna see I've got a lot of the exact same designs that are on the Destiny for the couching, or excuse me, for the bobbin work, are now in my Solaris for the, um, for the couching, okay? And again, the difference between the couching and the bobbin work is the couching stitch has a little like triangle to it. I don't know if you guys can see how it, it looks like a little triangle all the way around it. And that's to hold that couching in place as it's sewn around the couching, okay? But again, they're really open. They're really just sort of one... Um, uh, category seven on the Destiny. Category seven, okay, good, sorry. Um, yeah, so category seven on the Destiny and the Altair, okay? So again, these stitches look a lot different than a regular running stitch, which is what we want our, um, which is what we want our bobbin work stitch to look like. Okay, so but we can actually easily correct this in the Solaris. So you can turn all of these couching stitches into um, uh, all these couching stitches into bobbin work stitches really easily. Okay, especially if you bought the upgrade for the Solaris 2. Because what we can do is we can go in, we can pick our design, okay? We can then touch set. Now we're gonna actually turn this design into a shape. So we're actually gonna just make an outline of the, what we wanna actually sew out as bobbin work, okay? We're gonna do that by touching the little flower here Okay, another cool thing we could do is we could move the distance on this too. If we wanted the bird a little bit bigger or we wanted to, to make it a little larger, you can actually move the distance of this outline away from our actual design if you want to. Also, if you happen to have a design that has some inside stitching on it, this is the big feature upgrade for the Solaris 2. For those of you who bought the upgrade or bought the new Solaris 2, again, you can actually do the inside of the, if you have any outlines on the inside of these designs, it'll copy those for you too by turning the little inside piece on there, okay? Again, that's another huge feature upgrade um, for that, um, for, the new, for the new machine, okay? So saying all that, we're gonna touch memory because all I wanna do is create that outline. And we're gonna say, okay, it's okay to call, recall that mem memory from IQ Designer. So I'm gonna to touch okay. And now I don't wanna to add to this. I wanna bring in a brand new design. So all I'm gonna do is go to my little home key up at the top here. And I'm gonna to touch my IQ designer. And I'm gonna go in and pick up that stamp that I just made from my little flower up at the top here. And you can see I've, got, I've done this twice, of course, because I've made, um, um, I, I actually made our, our little bird there already. So I'm gonna to touch the, the little bird and it's gonna bring up just the outline. All this is is an outline of that particular design, okay? From there, I'm gonna digitize it. 
I'm going to go in and we're going to actually just make it a running stitch instead of that little um, triangle stitch that I had before. So I'm going to touch the running stitch. I'm going to pick a color. I'm going to pick my bucket to fill the whole design in. And it turns that miraculously into a running stitch design instead of that little funky triangle thing. Okay, because again, the funky triangle made it so my design, my beautiful sample here that I'm going to hang in my house has, can you see those little black notches all the way through it here? And we really don't want to see that on our bobbin work. I mean, you could, of course, could do it uh, in a different application, but it just doesn't, it doesn't do it justice. We want it to be a little bit more streamlined, a really, a little bit nicer um, on my, um, uh, on that stitching there okay so from there we're going to touch next and again we're going to set stitches to this design i'm going to leave it at default am i boring you <laughs> <laughs> she just had the biggest yawn in the history of yawns i don't know if you guys heard that or not but <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what I just made stitches out of that design. I'm going to touch OK, and there I've got my new bobbin work design out of a design that we took from our couching menu. This will work on any of those couching designs. So if you guys want to do those as bobbin work, you can do them just by that process, that very same process to, um, to turn these into bobbin work designs. Okay? Everybody good so far? I think they are. All right. So the, do we have like 13 people watching? No, you got a lot of people watching. Oh, good. Okay. All right. So here's the next part of bobbin work. We are going to, of course, want our design to be on the front of our fabric. Okay. But the our main thread, of course, is in our bobbin. So we're going to sew on the bottom side with our right sides down in the embroidery hoop. Okay, this is the other thing that's incredibly important. You have to have a fused stabilizer onto your fabric in order to make this technique work for you, okay? We have a fusible, excuse me, a fusible tearaway here that actually, again, adheres to the fabric. Um, it stays really, really well and it's going to help that design it's going to give it body so it'll stitch out well okay so the fabric isn't going to pucker and and that type of thing okay okay so make sure that you use a fusible stabilizer um so patrick is going to be talking about bobbin work with regular stitching here soon so yes um you can do this on a crescendo um Obviously, you can't do the hooped embroidery, but you will be able to do the decorative stitches um, in bobbin work. And yeah, I don't think the crescendo or the area came with that bobbin work case. So, but if you again have a crescendo and a destiny, you can use that same bobbin case in your crescendo also. Okay. okay. So, and we will talk about um, about sewing here in just a second. Can you grab that roller stabilizer that I grabbed yeah, for yeah. you? Uh huh. Um, so the fusible tearaway that Patrick is using today is the Baby Lock fusible tearaway, and it is 12 inches by 10 yards. Is there a price on it, Patrick? Mm, yeah, $14.99. $14.99. So, yeah, so it's just a, it's a little bit better version of a regular tearaway in that you can actually adhere it to your fabric. Okay, um, I've used um, cutaway before. So you can use the fusible cutaway also if you want to, but... Um, Marcy has just raised a question. Can this technique be done on the Enterprise? Yep. Just by a second bobbin case that and you you're gonna manually... To, you're going to have to buy... that. That's going to be the hard part. I What I'd recommend, instead of adjusting the bobbin case that you have... Um, Buy an additional bobbin case. Buy an case. additional bobbin case and make it your bobbin work bobbin case. And you're going to need to, um, it's trial and error. You're going to need to loosen that tension and try it and then uh, either loosen it or tighten it some more. It's almost no tension though, um, uh, Marcy, on that. So, okay. 
Okay. Um, absolutely, it can be done on the Meridian. Um, and Marcy, if you buy a second bobbin case and you play around with that tension screw, I would absolutely mark it with a little, um, little bit of nail polish or something so that you know it's the one that you've kind of messed up on the tension. Okay, another thing that I want to talk about is threads. Because again, you can actually, um, on the bobbin thread, again, anything decorative, uh, again, serger threads. <laughs> um, I'm gonna go grab. I'm gonna go grab Patrick a um, spool of thread. <laughs> All right. So let's talk about your uh, bobbin threads. What you can use again. Anything that you would normally use in a serger is gonna work great for this technique. Um, again, we've got an eight weight glamour is what we're using uh, in this particular application. Um, but we also again. Um, can use any of the razzle dazzle threads which are really really cool serger threads um, they come in a great variety all types of different um, um, types and sizes and uh, again you're going to be able to play with um, uh, you're going to be able to play with this really really uh, what am I trying to say jeez what yeah, I don't either. <laughs> You're going to be able to play around with this and, and just to, to your liking. Oh, one other thing I wanted to show you, um, again, learn from my mistakes. That little mess right here was the first bobbin that I tried to wind um, because I didn't have it double wrapped around that. And again, it immediately came out of that bobbin tension. It was just a mess and I had to, so I so wanted I, to show you what. I um, do have a million dollar question. What? Did you leave that there so that the ladies could see it? Or did you uh -huh. leave that there because one of your mistresses are gonna come along and clean that up after you? <laughs> well, both. both. <laughs> Good answer. That's right. All right, so again, bobbin thread, you're gonna get a huge selection. You can play, with, play around and, and just get a look that you like. Um, I love, love, love the metallics. So I think they look really, really cool. You saw on my regular sewing samples how nice that, that thread looked. On the upper thread, again, a monofilament is gonna work really, really well with this application, okay? So um, you can use the smoke or the clear. Um, you can see, again, from my beautiful sample here, um, I had a black, just a black um, embroidery thread in the top. Um, and I think it's a cool look, but you might not like it. Again, you can see a little dot of that black thread on what would be the uh, right side of the fabric, okay? Yeah. If you had the monofilament in, it would look so much Sm cleaner. Yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. Yep, so again, it's gonna just depend on the look that you want. Um, if you don't like those little speckles there, then again, that monofilament is gonna be a really, really good idea for you. So I'm gonna go ahead and change the monofilament so you guys can see what that looks like. So Roseanne, there really is not any thread packs for those heavy decorative threads. You should go show um, me I will show you some of the decorative serger threads. Um, that we carry. So the one that Patrick is using today is the Glamour thread, which is this one right here. It's by Madeira and it is a metallic. I'm trying to get that all in there for you. Um, it's one of my favorite threads to use on the surges. Okay, so it's a really nice weight, heavy thread. You can see it hanging off on that one spool right there. So it's an eight weight thread. It comes in, some of them are kind of like a tweed type look. It's like black and silver together or black and gold together, green and black. There's like rainbow ones. There's a multicolor one. Um, so these are really, really pretty threads. And the one that Patrick is using, I think is this um, black and white one right there today. So that would be one set of the um, heavy threads. The other one that would also work really well is the new Floriani 12 weight thread. So the 12 weight thread is, um, comes in 30 different colors. It's, um, it was new from Floriani back in March time. And it is just a nice, it's got a nice gloss to it, um, nice finish. The Madeira Decora 
is also a 12 weight thread that works really well on the serges. These come in variegated and solid colors. Um, so those ones would work well. Going back to the super heavy ones, the next ones would be the Wonderfill threads that we carry. These are the specialty threads. And the variegated design that he just showed to you, this was one of the ones that he used from the variegated. So these we have available in solids. We have the variegated, and then we have the really pretty metallic ones. And these ones are a much heavier thread. So these are an eight weight thread. You ready? I am ready. Are you ready? I am, yep. Apparently he's ready for us. I want to show you what my sister made me, by the way. Isn't it cute? Hump day Wednesday. Okay, so <laughs> it's hump day, my favorite day, except it won't quite fit. It doesn't fit? No, I know. So it's more for Lily. Can so. you go on a diet? <laughs> 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 Oh, that's too sad. Once again, she called me fat ladies. I did not. <laughs> I was just trying to find ways that you could utilize the oh, gift yeah, that your you. sister gave to you. That. Yeah. This... <laughs> All right. So, um, again, we've got our thread choice. We're gonna, we put in the monofilament. Um, the, again, we've hooped our fabric upside down. So, again, we've got right sides facing the bottom of the, of the machine. And next thing that we need to do is we're gonna go, uh, again, we redesign this design in IQ Designer to make it work. So you Solaris owners don't fret because any of those designs, it's a really, really simple process to make that transition into a bobbin work design instead of a couching design, okay? So they also have um, the quilting designs, a quilting yeah, exactly. tab, That's and a, a lot of a those quilting point. ones yeah. will also work. And you know, after I get done sewing this out for you ladies, we'll explore some of those too. That's a great idea. Let ideas. me take a look at your, um, your face mask. Someone says put longer elastic on. Yeah, it's a it's like a material. Yeah, but we could sew elastic. We could cut these pieces off and sew elastic no, on there it. You go. We'll fix we'll him up. We'll figure it out, that's right. All right, so we're gonna touch our embroidery button. Come over here, please. So we're gonna touch our embroidery button once we get the design pulled up. Again, you can still move it, you can still size it, you can do everything on it, okay? You're gonna actually go to this little tab here because this is gonna be a really important part of this technique again. We're gonna touch the plus minus and we're gonna go to stitch number one. Okay, and again, what that's gonna do is it's gonna move our needle position, of course, to our very first stitch in the design. And the other thing that I wanna do is I wanna pull up my bobbin thread through my material. Because after we get done sewing this, we're going to need to um, tie it together to hold that in place on the top or the underside, in this instance, of our fabric. So we're just gonna turn our hand wheel one time and we're going to work our way with our thread so we pull that up through our stabilizer. Did everybody get that? And this is where the monofilament becomes so fun because it's hard to see, of course. So again, I just uh, turned my hand wheel once and got that thread to pull up through my, um, uh, through my design, okay? One other thing that I want to talk to you guys about is speed of the machine. On you Destiny and Altair owners, you don't have to worry about this because the machine is automatically going to sew slow with those designs, okay? But you Solaris owners are going to have to go into your speed. And again, you're normally going to be set to 1,050 stitches a minute. We're going to touch that button and we're going to slow that all the way down to 350 stitches a minute. That's slow. It is slow. Yeah, Kate uh, will go crazy trying to do bobbin work. But again, you want to sew really, really slow on these designs just to make sure that that thread um, doesn't wrap on itself or, or cause you any trouble, okay? The other reason for pulling it up through your fabric is because I want to show you what I did. I did it on purpose, of course. On 
my can you see this little jumbled mess up here oh yeah we can see it yeah <laughs> this is when i didn't pull that thread up through the mm -hmm. top so because the decorative thread is on the right side it just has a chance to misbehave it so does. you're basically sort of... pulling it through and making sure that you've got control of it correct okay and then of course the rest of them i did pull the thread through the top and i didn't have that jumbled mess there okay and that's all there is to it that's really all you need to know about bobbin work when it comes to doing this we're going to go ahead and of course touch our start stop key i am going to hold again hold this thread out of the way i'm going to get my monofilament out of the way too because it is squirrely there we go so it's really hard to see that anything is happening because it's monofilament thread on white um, I'm gonna see if I can get in here you really I don't think you can see anything on the camera here but basically it just looks like a whole bunch of needle holes It'll take about three minutes to finish this lady, so. Okay, so whilst that's sewing, somebody um, noticed that we had this little attachment on the side of the machine. I took it out so that I could get closer on the camera, but it basically slides in to the side here. That's actually your couching attachment. And I think we're gonna do that in a different live. Yeah, we are. Um, yeah, I was gonna do it today, but I, I, I think we're, we've got enough to cover here. And the couching is just a technique for the- um, Solaris. For the Solaris. No, it's actually for the Destiny 2. You, you can buy a, an attachment. Uh, exactly. Okay. Yeah. So the Solaris it comes with, but the um, Destiny you have to buy. So the reason that we are not using a regular thread on the on what appears to be the top, but it's actually the <laughs> underneath side of the fabric. It's is, all very confusing. It's backwards today. It's because you'll see some of that need you'll see some of that needle thread penetrate through your decorative thread on the right side of your fabric. So by using monofilament, obviously we don't see that. I think you guys are gonna like this though it's it's kind of fun it gives you a whole new dimension and a whole new look in your embroidery so you can um, you can do some really cool things with it again the designs that we want to choose are gonna be again really loose designs so that most of them are digitized with bobbin work in mind quilting designs things of that nature you can't do like a filled in stitch correct exactly yeah filled filled work is not gonna work on this instance in this instance And we're almost there. Now, another thing about this, and I forgot to do this. Correct. The hear... minor filament is in the needles, ladies. The decorative thread is on the bobbin. Correct. And we're sewing upside down. Right. Um, another thing that I forgot to do and I forgot to tell you, it's not hugely important, but it'll protect your knife. If you go in on these designs, because again, we've got a huge thick thread in our bobbin area, okay? So if you go in and you turn your end color trim off, it won't try to cut that thread for you. And, and sometimes it'll dull your knife a little quicker just because it's a metallic thread in there. But again, I didn't do that and it honestly doesn't matter, but you can see, Ooh, isn't that cool? It's beautiful. See how much prettier that looks when you don't see that top thread coming through. And it's almost, it's got like a raised edge on it. Yeah. Um, so, so because this cut. That it leaves that little hair. Yeah. Now, we would have a really long tail here if it didn't cut. And we would, again, you're going to do the same thing. We're just going to take our 
handy dandy little scissors no no here. no no wait i wouldn't recommend that you do this ladies uh -oh. okay. what, what i would recommend is that you take your needle and pull that through to the wrong side and put some seam, seam sealant on it to make sure we're not going to use this for anything so he can just trim it and it'll be fine but if you were using this uh -oh. and you accidentally trimmed it this short you still want to try and feed that through to the wrong side put some seam sealant on it and then let it dry good idea ladies yes <laughs> <laughs> so and then you're going to actually take our tails here and we're going to actually tie a and couple if, of knots yeah and if you had the other tail through there it would you could tie them both together yes exactly so we're going to make that do our own little tie off here for this particular function okay so very cool good are we good so that's going to be bobbin work in the embroidery unit okay and again um i would highly recommend turning off that end color trim so we would have a longer tail and you could do what kate said there what's your opinion on hand winding hand winding is a pain yeah I'm it is patrick wound it on the machine just at the very slowest speed Yes. Um, and it did a fantastic job. It does. And again, if you, uh, I, I will tell you, um, if you don't wrap it twice around your bobbin winder, you're gonna have, you're gonna struggle winding that. That's w probably one of the trickiest parts of this, but it does really, really well if you double wrap that. Ladies, don't go. They're all saying this was great. Thanks. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> He's. But wait, there's more. <laughs> He's not done. He's going to show you bobbin work in sewing here. And somebody just brought up that they wanted some of the fork pins from yesterday. So I do want to address that really quickly. <laughs> um, we basically order from four or we can order from four different suppliers for our Notion items. And all four suppliers are out of stock. Um, it they, it doesn't make me laugh. <laughs> um, so I have ordered them. So nobody will be getting their fork pins. I apologize. Um, it's looking somewhere around the 20th to the 24th of the month. I ordered them from two different vendors with the earliest release dates. So um, if you ordered the fork pins from yesterday, um, just be patient with us. We will have those. Um, we will, and um, we do have them on order, but it's gonna be a couple of weeks before they come in. Um, and also these bobbin cases, this is not a regular in-stock item. I did call and check availability before we went on live today with those with Baby Lock. So um, I do have, um, I do have some being held for us. So they should be released and shipped in the next day or so. Okay. What are fork pins? I would love to show you, <laughs> except we opened the package. And we sold it. That we opened yesterday. We don't have any, right Val? No, it's Pam, if you go out and Google magic fork pins, it's actually what Patrick used yesterday, or you can watch our live from yesterday. Patrick used them yesterday. It's basically one pin head that separates out into two pins, kind of like a twin needle where it comes down and has two eyes. This has two pins and it helps hold when you are butting up your seams together and you have seams to the left and to the right of your seam. Um, it actually holds those seam allowances in place really well. Okay, so that was in embroidery. And again, the sewing end is very identical to what we did in embroidery, okay? Um, so you're gonna have the same concept. When we do this, again, we wanna make sure that our fabric is stabilized with an adhesive or a uh, iron-on um, type of a stabilizer, okay? So again, we have a very, very stable fabric when we're trying to do this, okay? So ladies, um, this is a specialty bobbin case. It's not the green or the purple one. This is actually a, um, a gray bobbin case. So it does not come with the Solaris machines. It is an optional purchase. It is a kind of really slick feel to it, it too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and again, now this technique that I'm about to show you can be done on any machine. So we can do this on a, a Foff or a Viking or again, you, but you do need to have a very special bobbin case in order to make this, um, make this technique work, 
Okay, okay. so just... Um, Thank you. We've got people, I think, that missed the very beginning. Oh, I see. So I'm going to put that back in there, and again, we'll put our, bot our handy down a needle plate on there, and we're just going to come around and put that bobbin again we're using that eight weight thread in there and um, again I'm using my open toe foot for this um, another thing I want to show you again really specific to the Solaris and the Luminaire of course but how fun the um, um, how fun this technique can be with um, uh, with the projector feature so I'm gonna go ahead and pull up designs here um, Arlene, you can wind the thin ribbon onto the bobbins also. Um, the, there's also a technique where you can actually do ribbon work from the top. Um, so you can, in fact, I wonder, is Linda Cop on here today? I know that she, she won an award with something she made doing ribbon work on the top. Um, so you can do ribbon work from the top or from the bobbin, um, but it has a beautiful, beautiful effect. So you were asking what that stitch looked like with regular thread on it. Mm -hmm. So that's what it looks like. Of course, that's... Oh, yeah, yeah. that's yep. a good, yeah. Yeah, so this is uh, what the stitch would normally look like. And then again, this is what it looks like with our bobbin work. Okay. So isn't that fun? So no, if you are, ladies, if you are doing bobbin work and you want to put this heavy thread onto the bobbin, you have to have a specialty bobbin case. Some machines come with it, some don't, okay? But you do need a specialty bobbin case in order to be able to do that. And again, you can make your own specialty bobbin case. I would only recommend a separate bobbin case for this. I would not be adjusting your one you're gonna use for your regular sewing and try to make that work. You wanna buy a separate one where you can adjust it to your bobbin, uh, to the bobbin work tension um, and keep it that way for um, for all of your bobbin work. Okay, and mark it somehow. So ladies, if you have a gray bobbin case from another baby lock machine, yes, it will work on the Solaris. <laughs> yeah, it'll work on all baby lock and all brother machines actually. Okay, again, we can use um, monofilament with this technique. Um, and I, I don't know why I'm not, I probably should. But um, again, you've got, um, you can use any thread that's gonna match the, um, the decorative thread you have in the bobbin also. So okay. you could actually make that work. It'll be easier to see for, if I sew with the black thread. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So um, again, for the regular sewing, on this technique. Again, we want to find stitches that are really open. Okay, it's going to make that um, make that design work a lot better. Um, however, if they have a lot of detail in them, like uh, again, this, this little sewing uh, motif that I did here, um, it has a spool of thread, it has a sewing machine, and it has a thimble. Okay, you can see with the decorative threads, you kind of lose some of you, that. You kind of lose some of that detail. Mm -hmm. Okay, so again, uh, even the um, even the um, angel and the heart that I did, you lose a little bit of the detail in that. So saying that, the really open designs, um, free flowing designs, are going to work really, really well with this technique. What I'd recommend is practice and play. It, it uh, see what you like, um, see what works for you, especially with the different colors of thread and things of that nature. Um, so I like that one so much. But I also wanna show you how this projector feature on the Luminaire and the Solaris can really, really help you with this particular function. So Kate, you wanna show them over here? Again, sure. I've got the design pulled up. I'm gonna just activate my projector in our sewing mode, okay? So again, I don't know if we've ever shown the projector in sewing or not, but yeah, we have. But anyway, what's gonna happen is it's gonna put that design onto my fabric so I can actually see how that's gonna look before I ever start sewing, okay? The other thing you can see here, and I've got my handy dandy pen here, 
This is a, a sensor pin that comes with the machine. And say I like that design, but I wanna see what other designs are gonna look like, okay? I can actually go over to this little tab here and what it's gonna do is it's gonna bring up a whole new bunch of, of, or the stitches to the left and to the right. And I can actually go through this and say I wanted to see what each of those stitches are gonna look like. All I have to do is hit on the plus and minus, and again, it's gonna bring that up into the machine so I can see what those stitches, those particular stitches are gonna look like. I bet those stars would look cute. Yeah, they would look cute, I bet. You wanna try those? Sure. Yep. So once we found the stars that we want, we can touch set. And now it, we can also adjust how big those stars are, can be right on our fabric here. And as we do that, this is really cool, it's gonna do that for us right on the fabric. Can they see that? Mm-hmm. So again, we can make it smaller, we can make it bigger, we can make it wider, we can make it narrower. So just by touching on these pluses and minuses with our cool little sensor pen here, okay? So once you get it adjusted to the way you want it, we're then ready to sew this out. Okay. So as like as with any product that we um, talk about on our lives, yes, we do offer a 20% discount for one week from the day oh. that we do the live. You know what we haven't mentioned in a long time what? is how to get these. Granted, there's no, nothing to go see today, but um, how tell them how to get the projects. Oh. So because we got a lot of new people that we haven't said that in a long time. That little tool that Patrick was just using, that pen does come with the Solaris, yes. Yes. And this is a cool, cool little sensor pen here. So, and again, it's going to be utilized in sewing mode. Um, you can change your stitches, you can change your length, your width, whatever you want to. So, okay. Okay. And um, all we're going to do is, oh, the other thing I want to do is show them another really cool feature on here. And that is our, of course, um, with this, I wanted to show you the grid with the laser on the Solaris, because again, we can adjust this to a one inch grid and it's gonna make it easier for me to try to guide, because you'll notice when our fabric starts to move, it's gonna move in five, eight, 10, 12 different directions. So, and it makes it easier for me to try to guide these between the two grids here and I can keep them going straight. Does that make sense? I think what I like from a sewist standpoint is that you can use the grid against your previous row of stitching to make sure that you are staying in alignment with the previous yeah, row of that's stitching. That's really good when your previous row of stitching is straight. I noticed. <laughs> but when your previous row of stitching isn't straight. <laughs> so everything we're showing you right now is on the regular Solaris. It's not an upgrade feature. Oh, shoot. Did you guys hear that? Guess what I forgot to do? I know what he forgot to do. First person that says it, let's see. Quick, 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 what did he forget to do? I forgot to... <coughs> Bless you. <coughs> Bless you. I'm waiting. I'm waiting too. See if too. anybody gets it. Didn't pull. No, I, yep, no, I didn't. definitely didn't pull. Pull the first up. <laughs> That's right. So I'm gonna show you what it looks like. Again, you would want to actually turn your hand wheel one turn and pull up that bobbin thread up into the top of the fabric, okay? And I forgot to do that, of course, because Kate distracted me. So it was her fault. Ugh. And you actually heard how it actually whipped around there. So you're gonna have a little glob at the I beginning. Am, yes. So again, I recommend on this, on this stitch or on these stitches, to do yourself some samples, like Kate says, and see what you think. Because certain stitches are gonna look better than others. I thought that some of these were gonna look really, really good, and they didn't. I thought the other ones were. I think sometimes the more simplistic ones look better. I agree with that, yeah, you're right. Yeah, I really like that um, bow, though. I thought the that bow was is cool. really pretty. I'm going crazy here, you're, you're distracting me again. Why do I always get the blame? <laughs> Are you kidding? Did you really just ask me that? Yeah. So. 
he didn't turn off his cutter because it's not an automatic function in sewing. You would have to either turn it on or use it on demand. That so when, is correct. So when he gets to the end, he won't have that problem. Except I always want to hit it because it's just sort of habit now. And yes, you do need to put a battery in these pens when you get them out of the box. That is correct. No, right. you can resize these designs to, to whatever it. you want. Yeah, I mean, there's obviously limitations on there. So when he gets to the end here, he's going to bring the needle up out of the fabric and just pull with a tail, okay? And I want to show you what happens. Oh, I like it. See what happened at the beginning? Gotta pull that bobbin yeah, thread up. Gotta pull the bobbin thread up, but the stitch looks kind of cool. It does look good. So, again, it's just a really fun, easy technique. Um, if I can do it, anybody can do it. Um, and you can see, um, sometimes I can't do it, but that's all right. <laughs> so, um, uh, make sure you pull your bobbin thread up and um, otherwise I would just experiment and have fun with it. It's it's kind of fun and it's beautiful and you can really embellish some cool things. And again, you can never in a million years put this thread in your needle. So the only way you're going to be able to use this on your sewing machine is to do it with the bobbin work on there. So um, I think that's all I have for it. Do they have any questions? No, they're all, they're all waiting. Oh, it's 10 yeah. after 3. They want more. <laughs> <laughs> so. Um, so we appreciate you all joining us today. Um, Christine has a super cute project for tomorrow. She's been busy making kits this morning. So you're going to love it. Um, um, yeah, you do need to put a battery in that pen or it doesn't work. Um, they all said thank you, Jake from State Farm. That's good. <laughs> so we appreciate you all, and we will see you again tomorrow at 2 o'clock. Thanks for joining us today. Bye-bye.